Okay, now it's time to actually create the tag because again, if we read the file, not this part, not this file, this is just a tag. So it needs to be replaced. And of course, I'm just going to look for where this tag is. It's in here. So we need to modify our format function. It needs to replace the tag with self that that tag or I can just make it a property or I do need context for this maybe in the future maybe not so let's see how it works so I just say a new property property define tag all it does is return a string which is going to be return an nbt and then get dictionary for it to be converted to string. So now if we get it, it's just empty, which is what we need. And we will need to actually make it full with stuff. So here we go. Um, I need to actually copy paste some stuff. Okay, so this is the file that it used to be. It is pretty big. So first we have custom model data, display and all of this. So what we're going to do is we have the custom model data. Right now, how do we get the custom model data? What we do is we simply take the my registered tag, which is 37, and then we just do one plus 1000 because first 1000 I uh, allocated for stuff that I want to manually add. So we just do a plus self that unit ID. I think this is going to work, right? Let's just format it. Let's see if it actually works. Right, so we do have custom model data, but it's, oh, it's a bubble bench. So yet yeah. maybe it shouldn't start at zero, you know? Now when I think about it, maybe we can just increment it by one. So it starts at one, you know, just because otherwise it's not great for custom auto data as far as I know. Now read the backup. So we have display now. So we have the display, which is going to be an NPT. It's going to have name which is an nbt that quote so surrounded with single quotes and then nbt that get dictionary and of course we have translate which is going to be unit dot namespace dot name Let's see if it works. Uh, it doesn't. Expecting a comma delimiter. Maybe, maybe, because I need to make this be the JSON. So, is JSON. Does this fix thing? Not really, but it is more correct now. And now it just stops complaining because reasons. I didn't change anything, but it just stops complaining now. Okay, the magic is happening. Because I also need to make sure that it's not italic. So italic is false. Then this isn't being changed. To change tag before everything else. So replace tag with sell that tag. And everything else is after. Now it started complaining again. Okay, so I have a suspicion that all I need to do is replace this part with this thing. or maybe even more maybe even more yeah so if we if you basically if you had enough of them we just fix it I guess. don't ask me why I just I assumed that it worked so we have translate block namespace so namespace isn't being modified. Uh, it's bad, of course. 
So the reason it's not being modified is because it needs to apply it after. So if we go to tree, there's a default format, so it needs to first. Right, so what it what I have to simply change is this order to be like this. And now it works. So block, bubblenius, bubble bench. Perfect. Okay, this is pretty easy. Over here, uh, where do I have the tag? Oh, okay. So I have the name. Now let's see in our backup. It says display italic. Then you have an entity tag. So we just add a new one. We say it doesn't matter that I fucked up the formatting. It's going to be formatted anyway. It has the tags. Which is an array. It's actually an array of strings. I'm not sure if it's gonna break it or not. So if I do this, right, is it gonna work? Entity tag tags, it does. So we have bubbleanius, then we have the place, which is where I'm gonna add a new formatting. I don't have to have pref prefix, I can just use local. So yeah, place, uses GUI, this is great. Now let's see what else it needs. It needs to be fixed, inv invulnerable, silent. Right, I guess like this. Next thing is an item. So it's gonna be an item, which is a dictionary. And it has an ID, which is the stone button, because I use stone buttons. Why not? Count is count. It should be NBT byte of one. No, no, I don't want you to make it look like this. Then we have the tag. Now I am rewriting it from here because from what it generated. Because I don't want to make it all up from scratch. We have block data. Now not everything is going to have a block data. For instance, items don't have a block data, obviously. So what I can have instead, go with a bubble namespace. Namespace, which right now is just going to be one. This is pretty good. So this is universal, right? This is what's going to be applied for everything. Now I have to make this for items. Or blocks etc so i have block i have the prepare the compile now i need to i can just define like a property here it's like a property define like unit tag right it's going to be self and return a string or i guess a dictionary would make sense let's say and by default it returns nothing. So of course, of course, of course, it needs to be override. Now I can't override something that doesn't exist. So I'll add it right here. And maybe I need to move it like this. I'm gonna change it to be itself that tag unit tag. So by default it's nothing. If we now add it here to be what it used to be before, so block data, so it's gonna be. So what it's gonna have is block properties. Now block properties is going to be something that's like uh, like memory of the block. For example, cameras need to remember what they are linked to, so I'm gonna add them. Obviously, they are going to be empty by default. And then we have block data, which is actually going to be uh, the data. And I could actually add the block state. So block state, probably a good idea. Now, by default is going to be like name, default, index zero, something like that. 
then block data is I mean this belongs in properties I think just delete this part now we can see that block properties have the state of being default then you have nothing in the block data i'm not sure about this again i haven't implemented anything uh, yet like i'm actually writing it almost from scratch except for using my previous work to help me out so that i don't have, have to spend time on things i already know how to do so now we have id so we have self property of id then you have the name you have the base item id bubble bench name is bubble bench base item is an item frame unit is block path is like this i don't actually need path so now i need base now i need to ensure that it, yeah this is not compatible, so I need to use a value. Barrel facing up. Perfect. I don't have to copy paste anything. I can just make so that key self that property key for key, uh, for key in ID name base item unit. I then do the same, but I'm actually going to for enums. So I'm gonna rename this to be an enum so that it's clear why, why exactly it's different. You have bass, you have sound. Uh, what else do you have? You have facing, you have recipe, you have tags, you have block states. Oh no, I actually don't, don't need this. Also, recipe shouldn't be here. Yeah. Now I can delete all of this. Copy it. And look, it all works. Sound industrial facing player. This is much better. This is already so much better. Now, what's in here that isn't in there? You have the translate part. Uh, facing player, material count one. Custom model data. Oh, yeah. So more custom model data is where exactly did I calculate it it was sounds it, it, it contained this oh so it's just plus so it's a piece which by the way it shouldn't be like this now when I think about it it should be instead Self that custom model data. Right, this makes more sense. Uh, I don't want it to be not reusable. So it's a custom model data. It returns an integer, which is simply this math right here. Now I get lost. So self that custom model data. Now you can see it stores what it started with, which is going to be useful for me later. And this is all pretty much. The only difference is that it only has it also has display name, which I guess I could add. I'm not sure if I need to. But yeah, this is like the, the display name. Which by the way, it doesn't have any like specifics, so I can just move it outside self that display name of course i need to add it there's going to be property define uh display name self is going to return a string and then it's going to just return this it's not a string it's just a quote so i can just return the quote i mean nbt.quote Still compiles, it's holding tight. This is great. I don't know what's happening right now. So display name 
is self that is plain. So again, this is just going to be helpful for me in the future. So if I have like an item, padlock, we have all of this item padlock. It has place. By the way, it shouldn't have any entity tag at all. Yeah, this is where I fucked up. So this entire part right here. Okay. So now display and that's it. Now if we go back to bubble bench, it has all of this stuff. Yeah. This is great. Right? Because the reason is because you can see that Padlock is interactive, which is dumb. It shouldn't be this code. It should be called properly. If we go to item. We just need to change this to be a value. Now, can I just say something like that value? No, I can't. Oh. Oh, 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 okay, whatever. Forget about it. So yeah, obviously I need to change this to have the mind. Perfect. So now you can see it's an item frame. And this is a carrot and a stick. Great. Now custom model data, you can see it's actually working. You have the translate, etc. Now I need to add more stuff to this maybe. Or maybe not. Like what else does an item need? Maybe like some properties. So let's see. Override a property, which is called tag unit tag. And then I have to override after, okay. I know it's going to be is just namespace and then like item properties and then nothing. So it does work, so maybe in the future I will need this. I'll just keep it for now. This seems to be great.